What is up, car addicts? In this video, we'll be talking about the new Double Money Event Week, as well as the property and vehicle discounts. This event week is for November 14th through November 20th, 2019. So, unfortunately, the Peyote Gasser, which is the last casino drip feed car, did not come out today. It's really sad. I'm not sure why they keep skipping it and delaying it. Um, also, if you guys remember the peyote plants that they added for Halloween, where you can turn into an animal online, Rockstar has removed that too, so <laughs> they kind of have taken out all the fun out of the game, no, I'm just joking, but <laughs> they never really specified whether it was a limited time thing, but they just took it out, and I guess now we know it's a limited time thing after <laughs> they removed it. So the current podium vehicle is the Ocelot Stromberg, and yes, that is the submarine car from the Doomsday Heist update. This car costs over $3 million normally, and over $2 million if you have the trade price. It is a very good car to use in combat, as it can take three homing missiles with someone in it. It also has the homing missiles, machine guns, and of course the submarine functionality. Remember that to customize it, you will need either an MOC or an Avenger. So even if you win it, if you don't have an MOC or an Avenger, you can't customize it. So <laughs> make sure you buy one of those, or you have one of those. Uh, I'm going to be talking about later in the video, the MOC is on discount, so keep that in mind. Alright, to start off with the property discounts, there's 40% off the bunker, as well as the add-ons you choose on the website. So if you don't have a bunker and missed out on the discount a few weeks ago, here's another chance to get one at a good price. Or if you have one already, and maybe you want to change the style of it or add on something to it you didn't have before, like a shooting range or different types of the golf cart or something like that, now's the time to do that. Moving on to vehicle discounts, we have 40% off the MOCs, so like I was talking about before, if you won the uh, Stromberg and you need to customize it, you don't have an MOC or an Avenger, you can get 40% off an MOC right now, and the upgrades, where the, which are the add-ons as well on the website that you choose for the MOC, um, and if you have an MOC already, you can get 40% off the renovations. So let's say you've had a, a holler or a phantom for a long time and you want to change it to you know, a different one, a holler to a phantom or a phantom to a holler, for example, you can do that now for a great price. Uh, keep in mind that you need to own a bunker to buy an MOC. So it's kind of like, so you have to have a facility to buy an Avenger to customize your Stromberg or you have to have a bunker and an MOC to customize your Stromberg. So keep that in mind. Uh, and speaking of the Avenger, we also have 25% off the vehicle workshop upgrade for the Avenger. And before I mention the next discounts, please keep in mind that all of these have an extra 10% discount because of the Twitch Prime member. So that means that if you don't have your social club linked to your Twitch Prime account, the cars I'm going to be mentioning next will cost 10% extra for you. So with that out of the way, we have 25% off the Luxo. This is the flying car that shoots missiles. I'm sure many of you have been killed at least once by one of these. Again, the discount shown here is 35% off instead of the 25% because I am a Twitch Prime member. This 10% discount difference applies again to all the next vehicles I'm gonna be mentioning as well. So if you see mine's cheaper than yours, it's because I'm a Twitch Prime member. So next we have 35% off the Kanjali, arguably the best tank in the game and a lot of fun to mess around with. Although I still think the price is a little bit too much, even with these discounts. We also have 35% off the Barrage. Pretty useless vehicle, in my opinion. And it's off what off-roading for some reason. It's like allergic to bumps. I don't recommend buying one at all. We have 35% off the Channel Bog. This has the best missiles in the game to take down jets. But it's a very large vehicle. And you need two people to operate it efficiently. If not, it takes about a minute or so to bring the jacks down, then get out of it. Then get into the turret station, then hold right on the D-pad for the, th the missile thing to go up to finally be able to shoot the missiles. So, also note that if someone shoots you twice with an explosive sniper from far away, which I mean this is a very very large vehicle, you're dead if they shoot you twice. So, and one homing missile from an oppressor Mark II randomly flying around or Deluxo, you're also dead. So I guess maybe off the radar for this one might be the only way to use it in free mode, even though it's kind of bigger than a school bus, so it's kind of <laughs> hard to miss, but I'm sure many of you can get creative hiding it and all that stuff. We also have 35% off the Night Shark, kind of like the Baby Insurgent, but a lot faster. I absolutely love the Night Shark. It also has a tow hitch, so you can tow the anti-aircraft trailer or random boat trailers off the street around. 
but unfortunately, by far the worst thing about the Night Shark, and I'm really disappointed about, is that you cannot use it in races. It's really sad because it's one of my favorite off-road vehicles in the game, and the fact that they allow other vehicles that have the little crappy machine guns, they don't allow the Night Shark. Really sucks, but that's just Rockstar for you sometimes. We also have 35% off the APC, a very useful vehicle in my opinion. If you guys remember, it acts, also acts like a boat, so you can drive it on water. Uh, it's decently fast on road as well. Uh, with two people manning this thing, it's a really good vehicle. We also have 35% off the Dune FAV, another vehicle kind of like the Barrage I mentioned earlier, kind of useless and not worth its price at all in my opinion. We also have 35% off the Half Track. The gun on the back of this thing is pretty good when upgraded, but the overall vehicle is not that great in comparison to the OP stuff we have nowadays. We have 35% off the anti-aircraft trailer. I find this decently useful, but you need a bunker to store it, and a second friend to properly use it, and have someone kind of tow you around as you shoot. When you call in the anti-aircraft trailer, it spawns with a saddler attached to it, so I highly recommend having a friend call in his night shark or his insurgent pickup custom and kind of hook up to it and then you can kind of shoot while your friend's towing you around it's kind of fun but again you really need a, a second friend to be able to enjoy it properly we have 35 percent off the technical aqua probably the most useful vehicle by far in the discounts today but i guess if you're like a top gear fan you might like it also keep in mind that you need a vehicle cargo warehouse to be able to buy it and lastly, we have 35% off the original Insurgent, one of the coolest vehicles in the game that survives a lot of homing missiles, great for off-roading, just a very well-known, great vehicle in GTA Online. And for the weapon discounts, we have 40% off all weapons in the game, as well as 40% off all the ammo, so sticky bombs, RPG rounds, all that stuff, and the body armor as well. So for those of you who like to mess around in free mode and kill people and constantly buying armor and ammo and all that stuff and weapons, I guess <laughs> now you can get the stuff 40% off. Moving on to the double money stuff, Rockstar is offering double money and RP on the bunker sales. So this makes an insane amount of money if you do it the right way. I will leave a link in the pinned comment down below to my solo method that will get you over 600,000 every three hours roughly while you're doing other stuff in the game. Remember, bunker is not something you just kind of sit there and wait for it to go. <laughs> bunker is something you kind of have doing in the background while you're doing other stuff and then you come back you know, every few hours to fill it up with new supplies or to sell. And for those of you who still haven't unlocked certain bunker research items like the explosive rounds and certain gun, gun running vehicle upgrades, Rockstar is also making the research for those items in the bunker two times speed, so they go twice as fast. So that's a really good uh, thing there for the bunker. I mean, the bunker's on sale, double money for the bunker, uh, faster research. I mean, it's a lot of bunker stuff that's really good right now. We also have double money and RP on the newer survivals and on the all the King of the Hill modes as well. Also to note that the survival at King of the Hill is now available in the creator. So you can create your own if you choose to. Highly doubt many people will be doing that, but if you want to if you've been wanting to create your own survival or King of the Hill mode, I guess now you can do that. And for the exclusive Twitch Prime member discounts, they just kind of copied and pasted the same ones from last week. That was the 80% off the Nero. The Nero, which is the best looking Bugatti in, in the game in my opinion. And 80% off the Cyclone, which is the fastest accelerating not rocket powered car in the game. I get asked a lot on how to become a Switch Prime member. Many people don't even know what it is <laughs> or how to do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the instructions on how to do it in the pinned comment for those of you who want to do that. I mean, it's pretty simple. You log into your social club account, you go to the settings tab, go to linked accounts, uh, select the Twitch Prime one, log into your Twitch, link the Prime account to it, and that's it. I mean, it's really that simple. It's not anything ridiculous, but I'll put it written <laughs> in the pinned comment while you have it verbally and written. Hopefully, you know, some of you can try to do that. And lastly, we have the RC Bandito time trial La Fuente Blanca. Again, Rockstar is just kind of repeating the same 10 time trials over and over. And this week's normal time trial is Power Station, and this week's premium race is Criminal Records. Criminal Records is by far the easiest premium race out of the bunch. So you kind of just go around the outer road of the prison in circles. So if you pick an Emerus or a Krieger, you can literally full throttle the entire thing without even using your brakes. Very easy win. 
but you're gonna have other people you're racing against doing the same thing, so you kind of have to be strategic with the uh, slipstream and all that. Anyways, guys, hope this was helpful. Maybe there's a vehicle or property interested in getting slash customizing. Let me know down below in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.